Yo, what is up, YouTube? We are back on the Madden 16 Final Editions. Finally, out in Madden 16 Ultimate Team. Let's check them out. Final Editions, Budget Squads, Galore, Budget, Beast Galore. And then some of these cards are actual monsters themselves. Check out the collection. It's a collectible that you have to... No, you don't have to buy it. Cool, it's not on the auction block. So that's a solo. That's light. Check out who all goes to the set. Doug Free, Rooney. We got a Brandon Graham, Deion Lewis, and a Jay Howard. Check out Doug Free, man. Doug Free, honestly... Wasn't that great this year, to be honest, so this card kind of surprised me. Then he also has a signature card that's a 92 overall that's pretty much the equivalent of this card. To me, this card's random. Left field. Makes no sense. Going for 200k, though. 92 strength, 94 run block, 66 speed, 84 impact block, and 82 excel. Great run block and pass block, not gonna lie. Looks like a beastly card having that high run block and pass block. It's still so rare to see non-legends having both of those juiced up. Now, his impact block is low, but high run block and pass block is pretty dope. Doug Free, not looking too bad. Next up, Rodney McLeod, 91 overall, 90 hit power, 93 speed, 84 tackle, 91 zone, and 72 man. Cool speed, cool hit power, cool zone. And can he catch a little? What's the catching? 73 catch for Rodney McLeod. That's not too bad. I really hope it's McLeod and not McLeod or McLeod. I'm probably butchering his name. If so, forgive me. Next up, we got a Brandon Graham. 90 overall right outside linebacker. 84 speed. Damn. Really slow for an outside linebacker. 93 hit power. 91. Whoa. 91 block shed. 93 hit power. That's dope. 94 pursuit. 87 strength. And 87 play rate. Man. 3-4 outside linebacker? I guess it's not too bad. 3-4 outside linebackers don't have to be blazing fast. 84 speed's actually more than enough for a 3-4 outside linebacker. And 91 blocks is pretty, pretty freaking nice. That car might be kind of nice. Jay Howard, next up, going for 30K or better yet, 20K. 89 overall left in, 85 speed, the big boy. 85 speed, 91 block shed, 91 strength, 90, whoa. This car looks nice too. Play rex low, but that block shed and speed, that power move, that strength. This car looks like a beast, too. Y'all always love these Final Edition cards. To me, to me, they're always juiced as hell. So many good budget beasts. And lastly, Deion Lewis. This is a halfback for the Patriots. Check him out real quick. 93 speed, 92 carry, 72 truck, 91 juke move, 86 VCV, 96 elusiveness. Nothing really special going on here. But I think when it comes to gems, guys worth trying out would probably be... Give me a Brandon Graham, Jay Howard, and even Rodney McLeod if his price dropped. Probably a beast, man. Probably a freaking beast. Budget Squad, damn. I want to start the Budget Squad soon, man. I want to fire one up. I damn near need to fire one up due to my current situation. But there's so many nice budget cards coming out, man. I feel like now would be a, a dope time to do it. But I'm going to chill on that. I'm going to chill on that. Quick team update. You see it. Now it's gone. Bam. Let's check out the auction block. Demarius Thomas. Yo, going for 466K? Yo, he's good. Why is he so expensive? Doug Free was only 200. I think guys are just lacking and not knocking out that set. If you knock out that set right now, you could probably, you could probably make actually a sweet amount of coin on it. I think people are being too lazy. All you gotta do is the solo. Why is he going for so much? That's crazy. Check out Demarius Thomas though. 96 overall wide receiver. 94 speed. 99 spectacular catch and release. Damn. 95 catch in traffic. 98 jump. 96 route running and 96 catch. Yo, Demarius. Who to compare him to? Reggie Wayne compared to Wayne. Demarius has the height, speed, spectacular catch, release compared to Fitz. Yo, Demarius is nasty. This Demarius is juiced, man. I might need to do his set. I think I'm going to do the solo and then see how much I can buy each and every car for it. And I might knock it out, man. That's, that's dope. That is dope. Demarius looks like a beast. When it comes to the packs, we got some all pro packs. Not going to pull too many packs. Just gonna pull these bad boys with, co with the coins. <laughs> Y'all almost said something crazy. Just gonna pull these bad boys with coins. See what comes out of these. Yo, I don't know what I was thinking. I don't even know how we got here. Just gonna pull these bad boys with coins, though. See what's in them. See if we can get one of those hot position hero collectibles. Or maybe get that Doug Free, because that is some major... No, if I get Doug Free, I'm doing a set. I'm tempted to sell it, but I'm gonna just do a set if I get Doug Free. Demarius looks like a beast. I wish Ultimate Legends stayed in packs, man. I don't get why they don't stay in packs. Madden 25, they stayed in packs. That was so dope. The entire year, whenever you pull packs, you were pulling for 99 over our Ultimate Legends. The fucking having them temporarily in packs is the wackest shit ever, in my opinion. I hate how they don't stay in packs. That shit's stupid. That shit's lame. Shit's fucking retarded. Fucking hate it, EA. All pro packs. Dry as hell, man. Nothing going on in those. I guess I'll scoop a quick, quick wet pro pack bundle. I think I can get seven for like 1200, right? Check out the Pro Pack Bundle, see what that's looking like. Pro Pack Bundy for 1050. Let's go, baby. See what the Pro Pack's looking like. Final Pro Pack. And the Pro Packs were empty. All right. Whoa. We got what? One, two, 
We got three golds in this one. Fuck you, all pro packs. And there you have it. New Demarius Thomas out. All pro packs looking kind of dry. Hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. Drop it later. I will see you guys in the next one, man. Take it easy. Peace.